Here we are in part four now of the post-apocalyptic classroom. And let's see what I've done. I've done a couple of things. I've added some legs on this uh, workstation and I've made it a little bit shorter. So there's two stools here. Uh, I added just a piece of, of uh, I guess what would be metal on here. Uh, and I'm not going to do any more work on that. I'm just going to leave it at that point. And I, uh, yeah, uh, and uh, I may have made a small adjustment to the teacher's desk. We're going to move on now, and, and in this video, uh, I'm only going to do the windows. And uh, we'll leave it at that, then we'll move on to the ceiling and uh, any potential lights and other objects in the room, if there are going to be some. So I'm just going to focus on, uh, on that by pressing the slash key. And I'll go ahead and I'm going to um, apply the solidify modifier. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to press 3 for face selection, shift alt and click and select all of that all around there. I'm going to shift D and P to break it out. Select that piece, go into edit mode and select it and scale in the X to make the window frame. Like that. I'm going to select this outer edge and F to make face. And this one, after make face, I'll select it again and scale in the X maybe a little bit more. Okay, now I want to shape this thing, so I'm going to put Control R there and another Control R. I'm going to slide that up so I can have smaller windows up top. All right, now I'm going to select these two front ones and these two back ones. I'm going to press I twice and bring them in like that. Select those two and those two. I'm going to press I twice again to go back to the normal inset. Pull it in and try to get sort of a similar frame as on the bottom. And yeah, that's too much. There we go, something like that. With those selected, Control E, bridge edge loops. And then select the back one and the front one. Control E, bridge edge loops. That one and that one. Bridge edge loops. I select it all in Alt N, recalculate outside. And let's see if I put on just the bevel 0 0.01 just to make it look a little bit better. Okay, so there's the basic uh, frame of the window. Now I'm going to come in here and shift alt to click, select that, and sort of repeat shift D, P to break it out. Take this and make it a little narrower. So it sort of steps in from here to here to here like that and then I'm going to press E and Alt S and, pu and push or pull whichever one makes it a bit small this is the actual border of the window itself like that okay I could just copy this one over to here and now we'll make some sort of pieces in the middle shift D to duplicate pull this out and I'm going to scale this in the X to make it thinner just to fit in there and we'll give it a bit of thickness, extrude it like that. And I'm going to take that piece and just focus on it if I can. All right, I'm going to break it out and then I can just focus on that and uh, get rid of the ends. So that and this X faces. Okay, bring that back. And we are here. I'm just going to take it and I'm going to scale it in the Z just to make sure that it's in. I'm going to flip it and then I'm going to take this shifty and I'm going to rotate X90 to put it there. Uh, but I think I'll focus on all of that and look from the side and just look to see. Actually, if I take this and I bring my 3D cursor there, I can see that it's not quite centered. So I'm going to just pull it over, center it a bit. And now I can come in here and maybe both of those scale in the Y, pull them till they're you know, underneath the frame. It doesn't have to be uh, equal. So I've got that, and that's embedded in there. Okay, so I'm going to take that and that, and I'm going to Control J, and join it together and bring back that. So that would be my bottom window. I could take that and I'll do it separately. I'll just set the origin to geometry and shift D. Man, I would have another window in there like that. Let's see if we can focus just on this stuff here. All right, good enough. 
All right, let's come in here and first of all, we can get rid of that edge. We're not going to need that. Dissolve that edge. All right, three fair face selection, Shift Alt to click here, Shift D to duplicate, P to break it out, repeating the same thing. Select it, SX. Okay, we're making the frame here. Okay, and all I'm going to do here is E and Alt S and push. And bring it in and it doesn't have to be the exact same as this one now i'm noticing that i'm going to come back before i do this i've got an edge here and that's going to make things a little awkward so i'm going to dissolve that and then i can again e and alt s and pull it in and you know be nice if it's kind of similar to this but it doesn't really matter that much all right so i'll do that and then i'm going to take one of these pieces here shift d to duplicate pull it out I will break it out to make it easier. Scale it in the X so that it fits under nicely like that. Give it some thickness like this. Maybe a similar thickness, that's fine. And let's just look at that piece there. Get rid of that and that. And we'll flip it. And now I have that piece, let's just take it in scale in the Z, make it a bit bigger. And then I'm going to pull this down here and imagine I'd have glass in there. I'm going to array this. And uh, let's see, we're gonna come down this way. Something like, let's try four. Just looking at the middle there. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five spaces. And I'm just, just I would just work on it to try and get it the spaces relatively even. And sort of centered like that. Okay, not bad. I think I will uh, apply the array and take those and join those together and that's all joined together as well so if i take this and this and this actually uh, in fact i'm going to to make things easier i'm going to join all that as one piece i'm going to come in and do that okay now there's no glass there yet let's just focus on the wall for now I can duplicate this down now. It looks like these two have the same thickness, but this one doesn't here. And so, uh, yeah, that's weird. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to move these vertices a little bit so that we get something like this. I could do them exactly equally, but it's probably okay. This, let's have a look at that. Okay, not sure why that happened. And then if I want, I can, so for example, on this one, let's just come in here and let's say I select, let's see, all of that, do that, P, let's break that out. And let's look here and I can, oops, I can drop an edge loop right in the middle, that'll split it there and there. And now I can break these pieces out if I want separately. Imagine that this is the glass. Okay, but let's, let's take all of them and see where I would want that positioned. I'm just demonstrating now. Let's say I put that in there. And uh, uh, let's see. Uh, you know what? Um, let's, uh, let's just flip it for now. So maybe I'd get rid of that piece of glass. And then if I wanted to, I could come in here and go into edit mode and 
okay with the knife tool um, you know I could do uh, I could do that and break that out you know to have broken glass let's try to just piece like that all right so I got some broken glass in that one and I can move this window here. I can come in here and I can select their Shift S cursor, select it from my 3D cursor there. But come in here and separate this window out. So just select all the parts of it, Control L. I'm gonna P to break it out and set the pivot to the 3D cursor. And I can rotate in the Z and I can have a window open like that. And I can board up those other windows as well. And this is, of course, going to have a, an interesting effect on the light. So that is the way the windows, let's hide that piece there, the way the windows are going to work on this. Okay, so a piece of glass, some of it boarded up, some of the glass missing, some of the glass broken. And yeah, that's it. Okay, so when I come back, I'm going to work on the ceiling. I'm going to work on some of the other items in the room. There's not that much. I have punched a little hole for the door, so I'll have to work on the door as well. So, yeah, we'll see you in the next part.